Hello there guys, welcome back to Vampire the Masquerade. We are in Chinatown. There's a pigeon or something over there. I was like, for a minute I thought it was a phone. I was like, what the hell? But nope, some sort of pigeon. Um, we're going in here to see what's going on. Last episode we spoke to Seng, who was just fantastic. Uh, so this time we're going into the, the Red Dragon, I guess. Because um, we're still looking for whoever the leader of the Kui Jin is. Uh, and this place has been rather large and ostentatious. It's probably the right location. Um, is your dress okay, madam? You alright over there? Where are you going, sir? Toilets, oh my god. Wow. Um, oops. I was going to eat him, and then I just sort of liked his singing so much that I didn't. Uh, yes. Hello. Uh, hey, who wants a body massage? Amazing. Wow. Let's roll play. You be the scared village girl and I'll be the very sexy vampire. Sorry, I thought you were someone else. Uh, all those options were incredibly pervy. What was that about? <laughs> Hello, madam? Can I interest you in a conversation? No? Okay. Uh, oh, hello there. Um, I'm sorry. Dinner service stopped a little while ago, but our lounge is still open. Great. Okay. The lounge is right over there. Okay. Wait. What just happened to my shot? I ordered another shot. What what happened to it? You now have a shadow. Bartender. Bartender! <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> oh my god. What the hell? Oh I see. It's closed off. Right. Okay. Well, there doesn't appear to be anything immediately that I can interact with. I could go eat the old man. Which I think I will do. Because hopefully the blood here is of slightly better quality than it has been elsewhere. Thanks, old man. Cheers. I've been drinking infected blood for so long. It's so nice to just have a, an actual... Celebrity Ash Rivers walks away from Deadly Crash. Well, Ash Rivers is a vampire name. Come on. Uh, I wonder if we can look him up in the celebrity database back in downtown. That would be interesting. Ash Rivers. Make a mental note, everyone. Ash Rivers. Hello? No. So the main thing wrong with this game is it's sometimes hard to tell who's an NPC and who's an actual just a, a scrub character. You know what I mean? The people who literally have like one line of text. Right. So the red dragon was a bit of a bust. That's fine. That's not a real door. We're just going to work our way through uh, in classic adventuring style. That's not a real door either. Buy a watch. Why would I buy a watch? Was that a turkey? Hello? I heard a turkey. There's another article about Ash Rivers. I'm guessing it really wants me to know about Ash Rivers. That's probably going to be important. Uh, this is written in Chinese, so I can't read it. God knows what it says. What's that say? Ramen. And what's this place? The white what? The white cloud. Sounds like an opium den. <laughs> Does it not? <laughs> Let's find out. Okay. Right. Bargain books for sale. DM by Neil Holland. Asian Arts. The Encyclopedia of Asian Arts. Japan. The Forgotten Promise. And the rest of that. I don't know. Uh, oh, hello there, sir. Sorry, I was just browsing. I, I wasn't really sure what to expect. Whoa. <laughs> I 
kind of want this now. <laughs> Can we buy it and put it in our flat? Bit of bamboo. A lot of these shitty crocodiles. I don't like them. Oh, I like the skull though. That's pretty good. Seng's chinches. Aren't they for Seng's shop? Are you a subsidiary of Seng's, sir? Let's see what you got. There is something in this door for everybody. Hmm. Yeah. Everyone gets what they deserve. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> I'm reminded of a story. Okay, story time. A thief named Lin was asked to steal an emerald for the head of his gang. Right. The gem belonged to a man in a Hong Kong triad. Okay. Most would refuse this danger, but Lin was anxious to do it, and indeed he did. Uh huh. When Lin returned, he did not want to part with the emerald he stole. He felt that the trouble he went through to take it made his ownership legitimate. Okay. The man who hired him did not feel the same way. Nor did the man he stole it from. I mean, I can see that point. Do you know what happened to If Lin? he was hired to take the emerald, then he was... He took the emerald, you know what I mean? It's like he's supposed to hand it on. Uh, what happened to Lin? He sold the emerald, made a lot of money, and bought a network. What? I don't know, dead. Are you Lin? Oh, dot, dot, dot. Let's go with dead. Lin was caught. Okay. One man has his gem back, but Lin's employer has nothing. I'd heard this tale from him when he visited my store. Sadly, I had nothing to sell him. So... <laughs> his eyes wanted more than his hands could keep. Ambitious eyes are, sadly, not for sale here at the moment. Though I do have a buyer interested. Do you know when the next eye harvest is, by chance? Eye harvest? His <laughs> body is being kept in the freezer in the back of a local noodle shop I hear. There are people there who want him intact. But I think his eyes would fill my shelf nicely if they were to wander in. I gouge hell. A fitting punishment for Lin. This is the weirdest shit ever. You want some eyes? Just, there's like, just, just randomly want some eyes. There's no like offering of like any sort of reward for it. Just like, would you like to steal somebody's eyes? Sure, I'll do it. <laughs> I knew you would. What other reason to waste words on the ill-fated? Okay. Uh, right, I'm looking for someone who's really ugly. No. Okay. Do you sell weapons? I sell things many would find cruel. But weapons? No. What's your story? How rude of me not to introduce myself. Yes, isn't it? They call me Mr. Ock. Okay. This is my shop. Do you find it interesting? There are no two like it on the road to hell. <laughs> you should probably fire your advertising guy. Brilliant. Okay, sure. Steal someone's eyes. No problem. He's in the noodle shop. Well, everyone, I assume you're all on board with this. Ramen is noodles. So surely it's the ramen shop over the road, <laughs> right? Uh, why Why do we get ourselves in this situation? I mean, it's like... I feel, I feel like... Pff, there needed to be something more than that. Like, literally any fucking reason to justify why I would choose to do this for him. You know? It's so weird. But there must be some sort of purpose, right? Well, here's the back of the noodle shop. And it's open. Get out of my way, man. Okay. 
I was just checking. Uh, let's pop in the back of the noodle shop. <sighs> what do we think is in here? That's the question. There's dudes. And it's a weapon zone. Am I about to get attacked? They look kind of hostile. Ow. <laughs> okay, then. Well, that's that. Yeah, <laughs> that just happened. <laughs> I don't understand why that was so laughably easy. Or what's going to happen to me. Is this going to be really fucking bad now? That was so strange. Of all the quests we've done in this game so far, that was probably the weirdest. Hi there, dude. I heard you watch some eyes. You're always welcome here. Uh, here are the eyes. <laughs> yes, they stare ambitiously. <laughs> Hello, Lin. Do you like it there? These are an excellent addition to my shop. I'm sure Please, they are. Please accept this as a fair trade. I have another task. If it piques your curiosity. Sure. I'm just waiting to see if anything pops up saying that I actually was giving anything. 150 books to experience. Anything actual? No. Uh, sure. I need you to be a bad luck farmer. Do you know what this is? I imagine so. A customer has bought an unlucky talisman from me and wishes it delivered to an enemy of theirs. I need you to place this in the locker of a patron at the Lotus Blossom Massage Parlor so that the bad luck can bloom. Okay. My customer has placed a black circle on his enemy's locker. Plant to talisman. Bad luck, farmer. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, you're scary. Sure. I'll do it, I guess. Why am I doing this shit? This guy is so weird. But now I just I'm just I'm working for him now. I've just kind of randomly got a job working for this guy. The Lotus Blossom. What was the Lotus Blossom? Kamikaze Zen. Marlong Restaurant. Oh man, that guy looks interesting. Let's save and just quickly talk to that guy. I've got to see what he's got to say before we go off doing God knows what in a massage parlor. Hello, Stanley, hey, Chinese you, Stanley. You are your fortune, Red. You give me five dollar, I give you secret Chinese enlightenment. Only stupid person that want to know future. Sure. Five dollar. Sure, I'll give you five dollar. Here you go. You going to get a visitor at your door next week? Don't open door! Oh. It's a whole witness! They saw it! Oh, away. fuck you! I thought you were gonna say it's gonna be like someone who could might wanna kill me or something. Which I could totally believe. Where does that go? Should we have a look at the map? Oh look, what's this? It's just a thing. Okay. Let's have a quick look at the map and see if we can figure out where Lotus Blossom Massage Parlor is. Lotus Blossom. Number 
Right. Where are we? Sengs is there. So we're standing there facing downwards. I need to back up and take a left. And then take a right and a left. Oops, wrong button. So I back up. Take a left. And then a right. And a left. Is this it? Is this the right place? No, this is Sengs. It's not the right place. That map was shit. Oh, it's here. It was just a bad map. It's literally right here. <laughs> oh, it's locked. So I probably have to sneak in round the back, I guess. Ah, I see now. That's what this is. And it's locked. Make sure no one's looking. God damn it. <laughs> uh, could there be a way in through the sewers, perhaps? Could there be a way in through the sewers? Did that glitchy person go past just then? Um... I guess we'll have a look in the sewers. I don't see any way up that's like high up, so a sewer might be our best bet. Let's pop in. Let's see what we can find. Interesting. Oh no. Source engine water glitch. It's awful, isn't it? God damn. I used to hate that so much on like custom maps and stuff. There's always such an issue. Uh, you are here. Three. We are underneath the temple. I want to be underneath the lotus blossom. Blossom. Oh, why is it not escape to exit that stuff? Right, is this D? That's D. Okay. So. I'm going to follow that path. Take a left. And follow that all the way to entrance B. God, that was really hard to get in there. <laughs> you watch, this will bring me out in the street in the exact same place by some miracle. I'm here again. <sighs> okay. So how the fuck do I get in there? Nearly. <laughs> Nearly. Okay, I can't get in there, so... Not really sure what to do about that. I guess we'll just carry on our exp explorations. Uh, let's see what else we can find. So, Lotus Blossom. We've been in there as well. That's okay. What else have we got down here? Uh, 
this. Oh yeah, let's go have a look in this big ass building. Oop. Syndicate, the Foo Syndicate. I feel like this might actually be the place we were meant to come all along. So this might actually be main quest related. If anyone knows how to get into the Lotus Blossom, do tell me. Because this game never does anything fucking the easy way around. This whole game just feels like a Source Engine mod. It's like they never polished it up into, you know, actual finished game level. It's just a fucking mod. Uh, right. That's locked. That's not real. Can't use the telephone. Can't use the monitor. And that's locked as well. But we have a keypad I could potentially hack. Ooh, that could be fun. Let's save in case that's a really bad idea. And then I'm going to find out if we can actually hack it. No. Okay, we actually need to know the password for that. Fine. Interesting. So we've got the Lotus Blossom that we can't find a way in. Because um, it's locked and I can't pick the locks. So I'm guessing we need some sort of key which we'll find on someone. Uh, the Foo Syndicate we need a password for. And then... There was nothing in the Red Dragon. And then we've got those big doors that I haven't gone through yet because they looked kind of imposing. Where have we not been this way? Zao oh, this was just Zaz imports, wasn't it? Do I need to poke around down here? I think the door was locked, wasn't it? Yeah, that door was locked. And there was... There was could I get in this one? No, that's also perma-locked. So I guess it's just the big doors then. We'll go have a look through the big doors quickly. Because there's not much else I can do. And it seems to be the only... The only place we haven't been that we can be. Is that a door? No. Okay. It's actually quite a small map when you think about it. It seems a lot bigger than it actually is. Did we go in the Kamikaze Zen? That's locked as well. Okay. Huh. I am most confused. Does it say my thing who we meant to come and talk to in the first place? Ming's out the Golden Temple. So this must be the Golden Temple, right? I mean, it's, the music's gotten very ominous. We're in Elysium, though, so... So that's fine. Oh, Jeebus. Oh, God. <laughs> Hello? Welcome, Kindred. And thank you for respecting our traditions by announcing your presence in our domain. I forgot to do that. I am Ming Zhao, High Priestess to the people of Chinatown. Can I get you anything? Tea, perhaps? Yeah, sure. Um, I guess, but that's not an option, so we'll, we'll be polite. Ah, that is right. Your kind drink solely of mortal blood, correct? No longer may you partake in the simple pleasures of the mortal world. I think they can partake, it just doesn't taste of anything. That's the problem. Um, you lose all sort of sense of taste in both a physical sense and a metaphysical sense. Like, um... You can't really, like, paint anything because they're just, like, the boring paintings. There's no passion behind them. Um, that doesn't stop the Toriadors from trying, of course. Um, but generally, you lose you lose all sense of that humanity, I guess. That's what it is. Um, 
Uh, correct. No longer me if I think this is a shame. And I will ask her if she can. Yes. We Kuei Jin are similar to you, Kindred, in fewer ways than you might imagine. You are vampires, right? <laughs> we are supernatural. That does not mean we are like yourself. We are beings returned through the second breath for a purpose. Second breath? The second breath. Our rebirth into the supernatural form. It is a spiritual awakening, not some lowly blood ritual meant to spread a despicable curse. But we are similar. We share superficial similarities. Quajin feed on essences that can be found in blood, yes. But as we refine our existence, rarely are we lowered to consume the bodily fluids of others. How else are we similar? Most of us <laughs> are also banished from the realm of the sun. Although we suffer rot instead of burning, the day's light is no more kind to our existence. I have a few more questions. What can I help you with? I'm looking for a missing Nosferatu. So, the great Nosferatu have lost an agent, have they? It was not by my hand, if that's what they think. <laughs> Do you have any idea where he could be? I don't know where he is. Perhaps you should speak with Wong Ho about this. Who is Wong Ho? Wong Ho owns the Red Dragon restaurant. Excellent. He's a prominent businessman who has garnered much respect among his people. If something is amiss in Chinatown, he may know how to help you. Sure, thanks. I'll head down there. I grant you permission to operate in the Quajin domain. For now. May you find your path, kindred. Thank you very much. And goodbye. Uh, my quest log got updated. Hold on. Ming, Ming, Ming Zhao has suggested do you look for a businessman in Wong Ho at the Red Dragon restaurant. He may have information that could lead you to Barabbas. Go as spy. Okay, so hopefully that's what's going to actually advance the quest then. We'll speak to Wong Ho. He'll be like, oh, I believe uh, you can find him in the Lotus Blossom uh, massage parlor. And we'll be like, hey, thanks. I just needed to go in there to do some other shit. Thank you very much. Here's a key. <laughs> I don't think it's going to be that simple, but... Uh-oh. Oh, fuck my life. Oh my god. I think the... Oh god, I thought the game just crashed then. I was like, brilliant, that's all I need. Uh, I mean... Oh, Jesus. I mean, we're going to have to sort that out as well, I guess. But not today. Uh, we've done enough shit for today. Jeez. We stole someone's eyes. Surely that's enough. Um, so I guess next time we won't go straight to the Red Dragon. We'll probably chase those dudes and see what was going on. Because that's got to lead us to the Lotus Blossom, right? Got to do. Okay, well, that's where I'm going to leave it then, guys. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.